Second is the annual si Sioux Falls Sidewalk Arts Festival. It's an opportunity for business owners to share their work with the community. In this morning's Flashback Friday, Kelloland's own Perry Groton takes us back to the Sidewalk Arts Festival of 1985. Animal, vegetable, and mineral, and a few things that defy description are featured at the art show. This is what you were interested in, right, ladies? Uh, hang it like that. For retired businessman Louis Gilmore, the arts festival is a chance to sell some of the fiberglass butterflies he makes in his spare time. These are my hobbies. I just uh, do this to keep uh, out of mischief, I guess. I make these things, and so I make a show like this once in a while. I do this one every year. I enjoy meeting people. I was in the selling business for 50-some years, and so I like to talk to people. Artists who pluck rather than paint are also featured at the Sidewalk Art Show. Young craftsmen hammer away at their wooden creations. The skilled hands of nine-year-old Eric Johnson are building a rifle. Eric reveals his secret on how to construct such a complex instrument. Simple, with nails and wood. Sounds easy enough. Who needs a canvas to paint on when a face will do? Make sure the kids stay still. <laughs> if not, then it's all over. I don't know. It's it's not that hard. It's just fun. Slow it down. One, two, three, four. Pump it in. Aerobics enthusiasts kicked up their heels trying to get spectators to do the same, but they didn't get any takers. They probably got enough exercise walking underneath the hot afternoon sun. To see more stories from our archive, just search Flashback Friday on Kelloland.com. Wow, that whole story was very interesting to look back at.